YouTube, YouTube. What is going on today, everybody? It's been a minute since I've been out here. Boy, have we been busy. Just caught that stud right here, let him go. Getting out here, we got a cold front coming in tomorrow. Like I said, man, we have been busy, busy. Getting ready to bring some home. Gonna take a big old trip on Monday, actually Sunday into Monday next week. Gonna be bringing something home special for me, special for you guys. You guys are not gonna wanna wait to see that. Got a little secret for you. It's a boat. Shh, don't tell anybody. But man, I'll tell you what, I am so, so excited to be out here. Get a little stress and anxiety out. Work's been pretty solid. Everything's been going well on the farm. Let's get back after them so we can get some more action. All right, y'all, I'll see you out there. Peace. Or I'm gonna somehow maybe be able to throw a top water frog right in here in a second. All right, I'm gonna try to put myself right on top of this little lily pad root area and try to see if I can't just stay here because this wind is brutal. Just get up on top of them. It might act as like a wind sock or something. I'm gonna toss this back around here behind me and I saw some action shooting around in here in front, so. Hopefully we're able to get something out of here. This bite's definitely slow. This water's cold. It's probably like 52 degrees. I'm coming off of them. Felt something touch this. And lean back. Oh. Oh yeah, baby. We got it that time. All right, now we're sitting on top. A little unorthodox to toss this frog around right now. But I saw some fish busting the surface. We'll see. This will be a little, a little surprising. But crazier things have happened this year, so. Toss it around a little bit more, we'll see. Oh yeah, big one guys. Get in here, baby. Stay up, come on. Come on. Yes, sir. I knew we were just going to have to slow down a little bit with the way this was looking. Gave a nice long cast with that Texas rig. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Oh, that fish is so cold. Look, nice hook set right in the bottom of the lip. Oh, yeah. We had her pinned well. Whew. Let's go. Ooh, baby oh it's been a bit caught me a small one yesterday probably about two pounds this one's pushing maybe just over two and a half looking good baby looking good Hoo -hoo. let's go Pretty sure I just had one 
pick it up right there. Let's see if we can get him to pick it, pick it up again or if it was that pad. It might have been that pad, but it didn't feel like it. No, nah, it was definitely not. Yeah, he picked it up and dropped it. The hook was out. I'd be able to get him to eat it again. I'm just gonna toss right around this area a couple more times. Just work it the same way and then move on, you know, not spend too much time on him. Oh, right, oh, he just hit it again. He nailed it, he just creamed it. Big one. Oh, it's a pickerel, no, no, no. Oh my God, guys, he, no, oh my God, he's pulling on me like crazy. Let's go, he's nice. I told you. See, I got my stuff. I got my hook and all that, so I'm happy. Unfortunately, though, I got a bobber stopper. I'll just have to run it up. Yeah, we're good. He's nice, though, guys. Look at the size of him. I'm gonna have to get the grips on this boy. Let's see, I hope I brought him. Let's see. Where are you? Oh boy, I'm getting blown everywhere. All right, there they are. Man, he killed it. I felt he absolutely, he must have came from a few feet away because he jammed that. Ooh, gosh, ooh, look at them teeth, guys. I'm telling you, these guys are nasty. Yes, sir, he's nice. He's almost worth a measure, but he ain't fat enough. Good deal. He's probably almost two feet, almost 24 inches. Sweet. Get on out of here, brother. Whew. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, I did see something else popping around over here right when I got that hit. So I'm probably going to have to retie this and we'll get back after it. All right, we got our tie back on. Let's flip around this area in here a little bit more. This is the last one of these baits I have. Got another pack at home, but I didn't bring it out here. I honestly wasn't expecting to catch them on this today with the weather and all that with this. Is that somebody? Yep, yes sir, take it. It's a pickerel though. It's a pickerel. I'm still gonna hit him. He's flipping it around in his mouth. All right, I'm about to hit him. Let's see. He doesn't have it though, guys. Yeah, I think that was just a pickerel. I don't even remember what I was saying. Uh, last one I have of these, yatta yatta. Oh, look at that, look at that. What's this? So my hook is out already. So hopefully we don't get snagged up. Get back over here see if you can get him to eat this i'm pretty positive it was a pickerel i guess it could have been a bass just getting a taste but the way he was flipping that around in his mouth it felt like a pickerel Yep, I thought I lost all of it, but I didn't, I just lost my bait. So now I'm probably just gonna have to go to a little bit more of a slim profile, try to keep that same color. Probably not a bad idea to try this puppy out anyway, so. And what I like to do on this one, cause it's got these ribs, is I just like to take it when I run it back through the other side and I just like to run it up through the ribs because that'll keep it contained and keep that barb and your point from getting caught on stuff, but it'll also let it out of that bait a lot easier when you go to set the hook on that fish. It's a pickerel, damn it. Get in here, boy. I saw him playing with it down there. This water is so clear back here. Back in there. Let's see if we got to retie again. Uh, 
Of course. Of course. Alright, we're gonna retag it back out there. It ain't that bad. <laughs> Oh my God, jammed it. It's a pickerel again. Definitely a pickerel again, guys. Oh yeah, look at that. Just came up and creamed it. We might be able to get him since we're just picking at these guys today. Put another bait. I mean, he slammed that. They must be swimming. They must be swimming around real active, these pickerel because that's the second one that I've had. I mean, absolutely jam it. Like straight knock the whole rod. Let's see if we can get him to go again. He was a little bit more over to the right, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he was like right in there. He might not hit again because he's got a piece in his mouth. And that's how those pickerel have been. You know, you could two, three times in a row as long as you get the whole bait back from him. But as soon as he gets a piece of that soft plastic in his mouth, he just lets you alone and goes about his business. So that's probably what's about to happen here because he ate my whole bait in half. Just straight chomped it. A big old bass to bite. Oh my God, this thing is huge. Another big pickerel. Damn it, come on, man. <laughs> Dude, these pickerel are fighting so hard. They're getting me so excited when I set the hook. I guess because they're so long, when I set the hook, it feels so big. Come on, man. Get me all fired up and it's just another pickerel. And that cold weather has these pickerel fired up. I know that. No, 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 no. He's. A, I'm about to get hooked. Oh. All right. All right. Unorthodox, but it happens. <laughs> I'd rather lose it than get hooked. So. All right. There we go. There we go. A little reset. See. Look. Little. No. 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 See. Look at that. Are you kidding? No. 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 Oh, that's a risk. Oh, that's a risk. Whew. This pickerel fired up today, man. They're slamming it. I'll tell you what, this is a good old time. Look up there. Somebody moving around up there right now. Oh my God. Shoo, boy. All right, let's retie again. Stay down, baby. Oh, no. Gotcha. Oh, boy. Let's go. I'm literally just thinking in my head, like, come on, not a bass over here? Pull this little stub out. Yes, sir. Sweet. Good deal. Get back in there, brother. Yes, sir. Come on, Michael. Keep getting on them. Just gotta continue up this side. I'm thinking the pattern I kind of figured out is this side has been setting in the sun all day. It's been a little cooler at night. I mean, it's been getting into the frost. Oh, look at that over there. We've been getting some frost at night. So what I'm figuring is that water, especially back here where it's a little bit shallower, is getting colder and colder at night. And as that evening comes in each day, it's starting to warm up. So I'm thinking these fish are probably pushed up along this uh, bank that's getting that sun exposure at the end of the day because it's just a little bit warmer. So I'm gonna keep pounding this bank here. And then I'm probably gonna run back up there because that's the second fish I've seen bust on the surface back there. And I don't know if that's, you know, this little, maybe there's gonna be a nice little evening bite turn on for some top water. 
I mean, not top water, you know. I mean, oh, that's what it was. Darn beaver. All right, never mind. Just probably gonna keep working this bank and uh, see what we see what else we can pull out of here. Come on, baby, stay down. Nothing too big, but still another bass. <laughs> Creamed it though. I mean, as much as this boy could. <laughs> look at the fat belly. I mean, look at the fat belly on that boy though. <laughs> That's a pretty looking little fish. Nice, good deal, man. Yeah, I'm gonna try to scrape one out of here these next few minutes with that sun going down on me. But we did pretty well today. I had a couple hours, came out. We got, shoot, what we get, like five pickerel? They all were fighting pretty nasty. Ended up putting a nice little bag together, three bass. Nothing big, but you know, it's a good time. But uh, like I said, guys, stick around. I'm gonna be definitely taking some video of this trip coming up here. You are not gonna wanna miss it. Gonna be heading on down to Louisiana pick up my boat Shh, don't tell anybody if you like today's video go ahead and hit that like button below stick around for next week and these videos coming up you guys are not gonna want to miss this and we got some great content coming hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it hit that notification bell and you guys will be notified as soon as that video comes out i'm super excited i've been waiting for the last three four months since i started looking for this thing so I'm ready to get it in my hands, get it broken in. That way uh, next year when the tournament season starts, I'm ready to just rip go and get on down there and do what I need to do. So, all right, y'all. Remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.